Welcome back. And as you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy here for the Daily Blob, or is a... Do, do they still actually think that they're the heroes of this story? <laughs> they, don't, they don't realize they're, they're the bad guys, right? <laughs> they don't realize they're the bad guys. Yeah, yeah, but it's another, it's another day of talking about Silicon Valley, how these psychotic, syphilitic techno kings think that they are the heroes of the story, uh, just, to, you know, at the exact same time, they're mining the foundations of our society for every, every dime they can possibly get out of us. Uh, so I think this is interesting. This is actually coming from Cloudflare. Uh, so Cloudflare deals with, uh, oh, network, basically internet type security, internet network type security. Been around forever, great company. Uh, use, use Cloudflare. I have, I have nothing. Nothing against Cloudflare, I don't think. Uh, but anyways, uh, they've, been, they've been writing a lot of uh, blog posts lately about AI companies being complete and utter jackasses. Because wait for it, right? The founders and uh, CEOs of most of these AI companies are the worst of our society. Uh, but anyways, they've been doing a lot of these stories, and I think this is interesting. Perplexity is using stealth undeclared crawlers to evade website no crawl uh, directives, right? So there are websites out there and basically they say, we don't want AI to steal our information, right? And then what we, he what we hear from the AI world is, we would never steal your information. We'll, we'll only do what's right. If you, and it's always blaming you, right? The big thing you have to understand about these bastards is they always blame you. If you didn't want to get raped, you shouldn't have had that beer, right? That's the mentality of Silicon Valley, right? And so that's what we heard, like OpenAI and th th those kind of companies before. Oh, if you don't want your site crawled, if you don't want your intellectual property stolen by our artificial intelligence company so that we can make hundreds of billions of dollars. What you need to do is, right? And they create this whole set of rules. The rules that you have to jump through to keep them from trying to steal your information, right? But the interesting thing is, if they want your information, they're still gonna get your information. So even if you say, don't crawl my site in the robots.txt file, even if you go to their dumbass platform and plug in all the information into their dumbass platform, if they want your data, they're gonna take your data. Why? Because they are demented, psychotic, syphilitic, truly horrible people. These are not the best of our society. These are the people that have simply monopolized key concepts in the modern world and are basically getting all the blood money they can while they can get it. And so we have this with perplexity. So perplexity is an AI agent. Uh, basically it's supposed to go out there you're able to ask it questions, it goes on, out on the internet and provides you answers back. So here's the thing, right? If you go out there and if you build a website uh, in order to try to get web traffic, right? You don't want perplexity to steal your information so that they can make money. So that they can get $20 a month, they need your information. All right, so you put in the robots.txt, all of that kind of thing, saying, hey, don't, don't do this. If people want my information, they can come to my site so that they can get my banner ads and the whole nine yards. Well, remember, it's modern Silicon Valley. That, that's not ac acceptable. <laughs> That's, that's not acceptable. Uh, and this is just, this is just very curious. I wonder how this will work out at the end of the day. If we had a government that, that worked worth a damn, uh, the CEO should be thrown in prison yeah, for a little while. I'm not saying forever, about three months. Right, three, three months in prison for violating people's uh, intellectual property. Again, building systems to purposely evade, uh, you know, settings that have been set up in order to protect people's intellectual property. I think a good three months in jail would be worthwhile. Uh, but of course, that's not what's gonna happen because that's not our society. Uh, so from Cloudflare, 
We are observing stealth crawling behavior from Perplexity, an AI-powered answer engine. Although Perplexity initially crawls from their declared user agent when they are presented with a network block, they appear to obscure their crawling identity in an attempt to circumvent the website's preferences. We see continued evidence that Perplexity is repeatedly modifying their user agent and changing their source ASNs to hide their crawling activity, as well as ignoring or sometimes failing to even fetch robot robots.txt files. So when we talk about user agent, I have many classes showing you this, but anyways, when somebody comes to a website, there's a whole bunch of information you can pull uh, from the visitor that's coming to your website. One of them is a user agent, and that basically shows what web browser they're using. Are they using Safari? Are they using uh, Chrome? Are they using Opera, whatever else. Also says like what operating system they're on, that type of deal. And one of the reasons you use that user agent and di is different browsers eh, deal with you know code differently sometimes. So you might actually uh, change the code that's being presented uh, to a visitor based on the web browser that they're using. Uh, and so normally with a user agent, if, you, if you're scraping or whatever, the, the user agent for scraping is something that would denote uh, that it's, that it's you know, from one of these AI companies or that type of deal. And so basically what they're, do they're doing here is when their user agent gets blocked and says, we don't want this type of user agent uh, you know, indexing our site, well, <laughs> well, come on now. Come on, <laughs> they change it, right? Uh, and then the robots.txt file, this is basically just a, a text file uh, that you put on your web server uh, to say basically what should not be uh, crawled by search engines, that type of thing. And so it's not even looking at the robots.txt file. That's one of the things with the robots.txt file, if you ever hear about the robots.txt file, um, is a lot of these AI companies, a lot of people say, well, you should use your robots.txt file. And here's the thing, it is, completely for for the visitor coming in looking at the robots.txt is like completely optional it's literally just a text file all it is is a text file right whatever the hell is coming into your site can look at it or can not even bother with it so that's an important thing with that uh, so from Cloud Forum, we received complaints from customers who had both disallowed perplexedly crawling activity in their robots.txt files and also created uh, web access filter rules uh, to specifically block both of Perplexity's declared crawlers, Perplexity bot and Perplexity user. These customers told us that Perplexity was still able to access their content even when they saw its bot successfully blocked. We confirmed that Perplexity crawlers were in fact being blocked on the specific pages in question and then performed several targeted tests to confirm that exact behavior we could observe. We created multiple brand new domains uh, similar to testexample.com and secretexample.com. These domains were newly purchased and had not yet been indexed by any search engine nor made publicly accessible in any discoverable way. We implemented a robots.txt file with directives to stop any respectful bots from accessing any part of a website. We conducted an experiment by querying perplexed Perplexity AI with questions about these domains and discovered Perplexity was still providing detailed information regarding the exact content hosted on each of these restricted domains. This response was unexpected as we had uh, taken all necessary precautions to prevent this data from being retrievable by their crawlers, right? So Cloudflare did what they were told they were supposed to do to protect the data on their brand new website that they created and Perplexity didn't give a damn. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Our multiple test domains explicitly prohibited all automated access by specifying in robots.txt uh, and specific WAF rules that blocked crawling from Perplexity's public crawlers. We observed that Perplexity uses not only their declared user agent, but also a generic browser intended to per per impersonate Google Chrome on Mac OS when their declared crawler was blocked. So basically they're coming through, it shows one user agent, that user agent is blocked, then they send in something that has a different user agent. Both their declared and undeclared crawlers were attempting to access the content for scraping contrary to the web crawling norms as outlined in RFC 9309. This undeclared crawler utilized multiple IPs not listed in Perplexity's official IP range. And this is how you know what nasty pieces of shit these fuckers really are. So beyond the user agents beyond ignoring robots.txt file, right? May, maybe you can come up with an excuse for that. But here, here, look, look, 
We happen to have some IP addresses that aren't associated with our company and they start using those too. That, that takes a certain level of, <laughs> that takes a certain level of FU to go to that particular uh, level. Uh, the undeclared crawlers utilize multiple IPs not listed in Perplexity's official IP rank and would rotate through these IPs in response to restrictive robots.txt policy and block from Cloudflare. In addition to rotating IPs, we observe requests coming from different ASNs in attempt to further evade website blocks. This activity was observed across tens of thousands of domains and millions of requests per day. We were able to fingerprint this crawler using a combination of machine learning and network signals. So yes, that's basically what we are now getting out of perplexity. So uh, a lot of these, uh, these AI crawlers are causing a lot of problems from websites. Not only are they stealing the website's data, right? You sit there and you've spent years or decades creating content for your website to bring in traffic so people can see that stupid ass little banner ad up at the top, right? This is work that you have done in the United States. It should be protected by copyright. They're having their AI agent, their, their AI bots come in and scrape that information so that is now in their library, in their data set. So when somebody asks a question, they'll just be able to answer based off what took you a tremendous amount of time and energy and money to get. Right, so you have people now, uh, they're, they're trying to put up these robots.txt files, they're trying to put up these blocks. We've heard of uh, website administrators talking about how some of these AI bots are literally crashing their servers, right? These, these CEOs for these AI companies are so indifferent to anybody else, right? The main thing in Silicon Valley is to drive the value of a human being below zero. When you look at a Silicon Valley CEO, realize when they hear slave, they think the fundamental problem is that the slave owner still has liability to their property. It's not that the human is a piece of property. It's that if the human is a piece of property, the owner of the property actually has liability for that property. No, their idea is to drive the value of a human being below zero. You are worth less. You are worth nothing in their mind, right? The value is their platform that they've created that they will milk for all the blood money they can get out of it. You, they don't care about. So if their bots crash your web servers, that is something that is actually happening, they don't give two shits as long as they make money, right? And so, you go in to robots.txt, you put in the web filter rules, you do all of these things to try to block them. You do everything that's legitimate to try to block them, then you also do things that go above and beyond from a security standpoint to try to block them, and they are still trying to grab your data because no, no is never an acceptable answer in Silicon Valley. And so that's what we're getting out of perplexity right now. Uh, I don't know. It'll be curious to see where this goes. We all know where this will go. The CEO will make a billion dollars. He'll destroy a tremendous number of people. And then he'll wave a little colored flag and talk about being on the right side of history. <laughs> oh, everybody talks about empowering people after they've destroyed civilizations. <laughs> what is wrong with all these people? We should really empower them. But you, but you destroyed them. Well... <laughs> Anyway, so what do you think about this? What do you think about this with perplexity? What do you think about perplexity, uh, switching user agents, uh, ignoring robots.txt file, swapping IP, IP address rotation? What do you think about Cloudflare seeing this on just an absolutely massive scale? What do you think about the mentality of these psychotic pieces of crap out of the valley that they, they actually believe that they're good people? Right? What do you think about all this insanity? Uh, put your thoughts. Uh, put your thoughts uh, down below. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. Uh, give us a thumbs down. If you don't, leave an amazing comment or a horrible comment. 
All that matters, modern world of social media, is that interaction. Uh, do remember, SiliconDojo.com exists. We do fireside chats. We're having the CTO and co-founder of an integrations company come on on Wednesday. We're going to be talking about how he tried to integrate artificial intelligence into his systems and how that did or did not work. We're going to have the uh, VP for AI models for IBM. He's going to be on the show next week. You can go to SiliconDojo.com. You can sign up for free and you can RSVP. Basically, there are Zoom sessions. You can come on, you can watch it live, and you can ask questions, that type of deal. That's all I got. So with that, see you later.